I really hope you guys can see this because I've never used this little tripod on my camera before. But I wanted to show you how to plant onions. See, they come in these little bulbs. And what I do is I place them on the ground where I want them. And because they're so small, I don't bury them right away because then I won't know where I buried them. So I take them. Let me bring you over here. This is easier. See how they're all here? Now you, the little onion, the little skinny tip goes up and this little button at the bottom or where the roots come out. And you just take it and you place it here where you want. Um, let's see, I'm missing one here. So I just place it there. The reason I do that is because if I bury them now, then I won't know where they are. So I place them where I want, and then I go back and I just push them in. Now I'll show you how to push them in. So you take your, see the little hairs at the bottom? Those are the roots. You take it and just push it in a little bit. You go like this, and that's it. To where just a little tip is exposed. And then the green little shoot will come out of there. And that's how you get your onion. Like this one is already sprouting, so I'll take it, I'll just push it in. I'll bury it a little bit, and the little green shoot is already sticking up. Oh, look, a little worm. I love worms. And see, I have all of these to do. And then hopefully we'll get onions. Now, I've never planted onions in this bed. Um, because I've always had like peppers and other heat loving things here, but these onions need full sun So I'm gonna try them here when I've tried them in other parts of the garden that don't have a hundred percent like full sun um, The bulbs don't grow very big So we'll try that and see what uh What they'll turn out like hopefully they'll get enough sun here to where It'll be all right. We'll get nice big bulbs. And let me tell you, I planted the cover crop here too. The soil is just beautiful. When you dig like this and you find worms at the surface, that's a good sign that you have good soil. Definitely worth planting a cover crop in the winter. Definitely. And I don't till. I mean, I have a little mantis rototiller that won't start for me. Um... So I just do it by hand. So this is what we're doing in the onion patch. Now I already planted the lettuce seed over here. This is the kind I planted. And what I do is I scatter it. I take it in my hand and you kind of go like this and you scatter it and then you water it in. I don't put any more dirt on top of it because lettuce seeds are so teeny that when you water them in, they automatically sink. So hopefully we'll get a lot of lettuce out of here. My, my family eats a lot of lettuce. Sometimes it's to the point where we just get sick of them. <laughs> so, oh, I took out my shepherd's hook over there with my little uh, solar powered lantern and my flamingo. I think garden could be productive, could be pretty too. Oh, today the walking path back there looks beautiful. I can't wait till everything greens up. Well, guys, hope you learned something. If there's anything you really want to learn, um, just let me know below and I'll, I'll try. If I know how to do it, I'll, I'll tell you. If not, we'll learn together. God bless. Bye.